Petty before the race. Richard, 10 wins here. Gordon with six. He's the race leader. They come to the line. They get the green flag. Seven to go. And you'll see Gordon hung back there. He did not want to get any gap in between him and the 25 car so they could make a run on him. No, he wanted to keep the pack yeah. compressed. Closed up. He wanted it. Where Boyer took off a little early, and those guys behind him got a good run on him and went around him on the outside. I think if McMurray's going to have any shot, he's going to have to jump up there on the high side, and hopefully somebody's going to come with him, but Johnson won't. But maybe the 07 of Boyer could get there. And they've already worked over Boyer going in turn one, and two or three <laughs> of them have got by him, like, instantly. And yeah. that, that totally catches me off guard, because Boyer had been protecting that inside when he was up front. He protected it like it was gold. Chevy, Chevy, Ford, Chevy. You know, McMurray's just going, oh, man. <laughs> looking out the windshield, looking in the mirror. Where's Carl? It's all Hendrick cars. <laughs> is in sixth six to go and if he jumped out whoa and here comes a five car flying up on the high side taking anybody that will go with him right now that would be biffle if he can get there but remember the 500 it was one from the outside man but i yeah the 26 has got to jump out in front of that five car right now if he can and doesn't and now he's going to get a push ralph oh, oh contact girl. Boy, there was contact in there, and everybody's cheering down here in the 26 pit, but he's on the outside, which is where he really needs to be right now. On the bottom, his car is very loose. He's just hoping he can get somebody to shove him around the outside. There's going to be a shove here in a second. Oh, Mare's the loser. Oh, there. I mean, Look at the Kyle five. Bush, she turned left, man. Left, right down across the hood of the 48, and he's going to be <laughs> leading this thing in a minute. Kyle Busch in the five car, trying to win two NASCAR races on the same track in the same day. How cool would that be? I, I don't care. That, that, that would just be phenomenal. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Two to these guys back here. Now, which way is the 48 his teammate going to go? I was just thinking the same thing. He's got two Hendrick teammates behind him, the 48 of Johnson and the 24 of Gordon. Gordon's in the high line behind McMurray. Oh, man! That five car loose. And he's still in the gas. He doesn't know any other way. He has driven that car that way all night long. He's done it down here with the Bush car in February. Every time he comes to this place, he drives the car looser Keep here than right anybody I've seen. Now, here's where it's going to get hairy. I mean, 48 is on that five car, and he's on his bumper really close to the corner. He'll, it'll turn that five car. And I think that's probably why the 48 is backing off when they get to the corner. He's trying, the 48, by backing off a little bit like that, is trying to help the five car yeah. get into the corner uh, more than anything else. He could run up there, and if the car was a little bit better, all but bump draft. Oh, oh nice move Carl. by Carl Edwards. And Kurt Busch going to try and come along. Oh, Busch gets a little bit loose. He's got his teammate behind him in the 12, Ryan Newman. Kyle Busch didn't want to see that, I'm going to tell you that. He don't want to look up and see Carl. I don't, I don't know if the five has really looked in his mirror in the last 100 laps. I'm not so sure he has a mirror. I don't, I don't think he has. I mean, I don't really think he cares who's behind him. Gordon pushing McMurray to the lead while his teammate in the inside lane loses the lead. But he has to. That's the lane he's in. That, you know, he's those guys committed to the high line for right now, and they've got to push who's ever in the high line, whether it's your teammate or not. It makes no difference. Jamie McMurray in that 26 car won in his second career start. Has not won in the last 166 races. Look at him go. Now, this is dangerous, though, for a leader. When, when they get out front, then that pack will charge up, and they'll have a really good run on him. And that's where Jamie's got to make sure that he doesn't get too far ahead of this pack. Jamie needed that on the last lap, not three laps right. ago. But if these guys can, if, if they stay pinched off and they can keep them run down here on the oh, line I don't like know. that. They're getting a run right there. Boy, Carl Edwards in that 99 car had a run on the five car. Less than two to go. Kyle Busch is still hammering that thing right down on the bottom sideways. It, that's incredible. He is doing a great job. See, if, I think if, if Carl got, will get a really good run here and he could give the five a push, it would take the 99 to second. McMurray in that 26 car led early in the race was blacked flagged for passing below the yellow line.
Had to do a pass-through penalty, caught a break on a caution, has worked his way to the lead. Side by side with Kyle Busch as they come to the white flag. Look at that. I'm, that five car is strong, man. My, he, not only is he strong, I'm telling you, he is trying to that thing, too. He's, he's going to be in the gas all the way. I don't care how sideways this thing gets. Last lap. Here. And he, your needs, help. and he needs brother. to be, because if they wreck right. right now, he's got to be the first guy across that loop. Kyle Busch now has his brother, Kurt, behind him. The one thing is Kyle Busch has the inside, and because of where the start-finish line here is, at, at this place, the inside line is the line if you can maintain it coming out of turn four. Will Edwards, oh, there. man, I'll tell you what. Will Edwards help his teammate, or will he make a move now. for the win? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he'll be able to make the move for the win. Kyle Busch is the guy right here. He's yep, the winner. Yeah, he's going to have the momentum, and he's going to get to the line. Coming to the checkers. Oh, oh whoa. That was close. I don't know. Wait for scoring. I think the 26 got him. It says 26 on the monitor. Wow. Great. My God. What an incredible finish. It does not get any... I don't know who... I, like I said, that was incredible. I would have bet all the money in the world Kyle Busch had that thing when he came out of turn four. NASCAR is going to look at the video. The 26 surged right there, right at the right line. At the line. It's, it's like the truck series races that we've seen here in the past. Man, you are the man! Where you think? Jamie McMurray has won the Pepsi 400. Man, that was... That was I mean, that was great. That's incredible. Watch the 26 just get a surge right before the line. It's his teammate right behind him, Carl Edwards. Right there, the five had the advantage. And he had the momentum. And here they are. And you see. Now watch, right here. Right there. You see it start to move again. Remember the finish in the 500? <laughs> How about that? That is That's good stuff. That's incredible. Jamie McMurray replaced Sterling Marlin after Sterling was injured in a crash. He won his second career start, but has not had much success. He changed teams, he went to Roush, he's gone 166 races without a win until this moment, just seconds ago. And, and hats off the five car. He drove the wheels off that race car tonight for a second place finish. Last race at Daytona for this car. And this race will be remembered for how well the cars did and the drivers. Hey, Wally and Bill, what I don't understand is about two or 300 yards before the start finish line, Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch's brother, moved up against Carl Edwards. And I think that's where Kyle lost his push right before the finish line. Yeah, but hey, those guys aren't teammates, and he didn't. <laughs> Kurt Busch didn't come here to help Kyle Busch win. He came here to win himself, and when when he was doing that, he was fighting for position. This is five one thousandths of a second. Jamie McMurray will always be known as a Daytona winner. He's in victory lane, and here's Marty Snyder. And what a long road this has been for Jamie McMurray. It's been October of 2002, his second career start. He won then, and here we are. Five years later, he's back in victory lane. 166 races. It took a while, but I'll bet the wait was worth it. Look at the high fives from his team diving into the mosh pit. This is one happy, happy victory lane. We'll catch up to him. Did you ever think this day Jamie wasn't going to come again? Oh, you know, I, I always said that, or I said it for five years, however long. Larry Carter is crew chief. Woo! I said that, you know, there would never be another victory like, like Charlotte. And when you wait so long to win, oh, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's just, uh, it's incredible. And every driver out here that, that goes through that knows how special this is. So, you know, I started crying and I'm like, what are you crying for? Just because you're happy, you know, celebrate. But I'm happy for all these guys. We had a tough year last year. And, Irwin, Crown Royal, Coke, everybody stuck with us, and it just, it feel, I cannot believe I'm in victory lane at Daytona, of all places. I can't tell you how exciting those last few laps were. How were they from the cockpit? I didn't know it was the last lap. Carl, you know, I mean, he helped me win the race. He shoved me in and probably could have made it three wide, but he pushed me to the win, so huge thanks to Carl Edwards, but uh, they said it's the last lap, and I knew we were going to rub doors all the way here, and I did want to get on the bottom because I knew the outside would have the run, but what a... 
I don't believe it. Right, you can relax now. It's true, Jamie. You won at Daytona. Cool. Thank you. All right, Jamie McMurray in victory lane, and it's a very happy victory lane, Matt Yoakum.